often has been stereotyped as a place with students with a lack of motivation and with schools that have a lack of standards. For this same reason, some of our students have moved out of Malton. I think Malton's a great place to work. I chose to, to teach here many years ago and placed here as a principal. There's, it's, it's a close-knit community where you don't experience that in other places of Mississauga or, or, or the greater Toronto area. So I, I would think that's false. Uh, I think being working in Malton and uh, connecting with many of the community agencies, I find it to be a very close-knit community that works together and takes care of, takes care of their own. Ms. Kanda worked on multiplication and division in grade 5 while having a bake sale in Canada. Then she went to India to study and found out that her class was already working on algebra and trigonometry. Many parents think that their children don't have much to do because of the amount of homework they get. In some countries, students get homework to last the entire summer breaks. Some parents are relating this to educational standards here. Well, they make the assumption, but they're not in the schools to see what the students are doing and the academic work that's happening and the people have been successful. Martin is actually very different because of the uh, of people people here, the staying here is the school difference. We and back home we don't have these kinds of program like the early child care centers and everything. It gives a very good opportunity for our parents to learn something new, like take, how to take discipline the kid with our spanking them. In Brampton compared to here, here is a lot safe and there is extracurricular activities like after school programs, programs like you can do at the community center. I went to this school at the end of grade 6 and I think I like this school better here. So my old school, a lot of violence there and there's a lot more programs that are suitable for many kids here. In, in many different subjects. I believe the schools in Milton are very good schools. I've seen wonderful students come out of the schools becoming doctors and lawyers and teachers and social workers and community activists. We have great students coming out of Milton because the schools are good schools. People hear about the negative things about school, but they don't necessarily hear about the positive things. But if something bad happens, it's going to be on the news, Parents are going to hear about it, it's going to be broadcast on media, so then people get the, the negative news, but they never really hear the good news about education. I think we need to do a better job about um, uh, advertising and letting pe people know about the positive things. Economically, we may not be doing as well, but academically, the schools are improving. And we're looking at improvement over time. I see significant improvement in all the schools. Often you have less here than some other parts of Mississauga. I love the education system, and I've seen all the te teachers put in their efforts, so I think it's a wonderful place. That uh, it takes a village to raise a child, and that you feel that you're part of that village. That morning star is something really special for you. When I look at our grade eights and the amount of our grade eights that have been accepted, at uh, the variety of regional programs that we have in Peel, I know that academically our students are being successful. Everybody wants to be successful and everybody wants to do as well as they can. From the kids, from the parents, from the people in the community, and um, from all of the staff that work here. Students in Malta now have specialized programs such as IB, International Languages, Arts and Technology, and French Immersion. We also have SHISM programs such as transportation, hospitality, and business, right here in the schools of Malton. So we do see uh, crime in Malton schools, and there's nothing unique to Malton. Uh, it happens in every community uh, within the region that we deal with. There are a number of safety measures in place, such as information sessions, safety procedures, staff training, security cameras, for patrollers, bus patrollers, adult supervision, and visits with the Peel Region Police. Peel Region Police come into schools to educate and bring awareness among students as a proactive safety measure. Uh, our number one focus is, is taking care of the schools uh, in the community. Our officers go out daily, Monday to Friday, um, and they're assigned to go to schools to be seen, as I said, as, as a sign of uh, partnership with the community. Anybody who's thinking of doing uh, any sort of criminal act to also know that, yes, the police are out there and they're watching, and uh, that's how one of our strategies of keeping uh, keeping everybody safe. 
if you think about all of the character education that we do and the monthly assemblies and the social skills classes and all of the clubs that the teachers run at lunchtime and after school and the mentorship that goes on add to the safety of the school and the schools in the area already. And when we act like a village in that we all support each other and help each other out and back each other up like we do, that's what makes us feel safe and be safe. In some areas of Malton, lower socioeconomic can be an issue because when you're working that hard to put food on the table, the roof over the, your head, education can be a little more difficult to obtain. So I grew up in Malton, 17 years in Malton, so I've seen the education system in Malton. I've also even worked with uh, alternative education. So I've seen a variety of different school systems. There's a lot of at-risk factors that's been identified in Malton. There's some families that are that are going through some difficult times. There's a lot of single uh, family home. Back in the time when I went to high school, uh, I, I believe the distractions were less. But now uh, students are um, going through a lot of different uh, distractions that they have that's interfering with their education. So now I think teachers and education systems are facing different issues that they have to deal with. We work from the same ministry standards and we work hard at looking at class to class. Are we achieving those standards? And from school to school. And we're measured with the same tools. So the standards are equally high in Malton. I'm doing volunteer in the school and I find that the education level given in Malton is really good. With the arts and technology, um, you know, school soon to be open for this year. That is a great achievement. It's the first of such school in all of Ontario. They call it SHSM. with an excellent program that's happening. They're doing an outstanding work and the you know, leader in the program. The ranking who have a, a lot of community work with mothers and daughters, fathers and sons, and bringing in the community. Overall academics in Malton schools have been improving steadily since 2008 according to EQAO results. They're on top of the map just like everyone else. For the junior and the senior kindergarten, they have play and learn. That's the best part of it. When we have a multifaceted morning start, it's a celebration and a welcoming of all the cultures. That's really important. Like I said, I grew up in Mal Malton. My job here is to help students to see Malton the way that I see Malton as it being a very positive place to grow and to develop in spite of all the challenges that they face. Those messages were out there when I was 10 years old. And I think to change historical messages is hard. And you need committed people who believe in it to do it. Right? It's easy to grow up in this community, leave the community, go elsewhere, and forget about this community. But you need to come back and say, this is what success looks like, and it comes from these schools. In Malton, is a lot of people who are very successful in their outside careers and their as adults have come back and given back to the students in Malton. So they have examples of how they can be successful, but yet still come back and give it to the community. The goal is to change that. When people say to me, Malton, and they roll their eyes, I'm like, no, 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 you don't know. Until you come in my school, you don't know. It is a great place. In terms of making education better, it comes down to being a community thing. There are a number of community agencies offering free tutoring programs for children in grades K to 12. I think of all the different agencies that I've worked with, that have contributed to, um, I'm going to say Morning Star, but have contributed to all the schools. We are offering scholarships to our youth in the Martin community, and we have done so over the past 12 years. We have given approximately 100 scholarships, and uh, that's one of our main theme for the each year. CET runs a youth advisory group for newcomers. Activities include youth empowerment, leadership, public speaking, volunteering, and more. We have a young Rotarian club at Lincoln Alexander. This is for leadership. Right now we have the biggest club in Peel. So they have to mimic us, the club, and they have to be involved in at least two um, service 
project for the community. They'll have 10 and 15 projects for the year, uh, and then they do one international. We're very proud of them. And the whole school will be IB from next year. So we offer, which no other secondary school offers, is the Sikh Religious Study credit courses to grade 9 and 10. We are also starting Gurmas Sangeet, four credits, that will be grade 9 to 12, where students will learn Indian music and they will get the credits. I, I want kids to really feel proud if they are in the one of the schools in Malton. They should be proud of it there. They should be proud of their city. To the rest of our uh, the, the people that live around Malton, I like to say Malton may be a difficult place that people view to be to grow up in, but we are we we do have people that count, the people that should be that should um, be respected. To the people that have bad ideas about Malton, I say to them, would you please attend one of the graduations, especially in the high school, the two high school, and you will see success stories that we have in Malton. One of these graduates is now uh, on the board of directors at Malton Neighborhood Services, and he's a lawyer. We have dentists, we have doctors, we have every profession that you can think of that graduated from either Lincoln M. Alexander or Ascension High School. Then you'll see how many of them go to on a full scholarship or partial scholarship. And I think it's important for parents and adults to listen to the youth of today, to listen to their concerns, listen to their fears, and also address their hopes and aspirations. The school's safe and it is a safe. Focus on your education. Education is power and when you have that, you have power. And the other hand, uh, I would say to the parents and the community, get involved in your school. Statistics shows that when parents are involved in the community, students usually do much better. With all the successful Maltonians, it is clearly evident that Malton schools are safe with a high standard of education. Despite the many challenges that we face here in Malton, success continues to grow.